which of the functions belongs to the given graph? We have these two functions, or two rational functions, f of x equals 2x plus 4 over 2 minus x, and g of x equals 4 minus 2x over x plus 2. Our graph over here looks like it has an asymptote. I'll just sketch, uh, I'm not going to sketch that in actually. Let's, let's look at the vertical asymptotes for each of these. So for f of x, again, we have a vertical asymptote when the denominator equals zero because we can't let the denominator of any function of any uh, fraction equal zero. So vertical asymptote when two minus x equals zero. That is when x equals two. Solving that equation. So a vertical asymptote of x equals two. This looks like it's going to be our function. We're going to take a look at the other one at g of x as well. I'll do that in blue. Let's see. The vertical asymptote when x plus 2 equals 0. Well, solving that, you get x equals negative 2. So that would be a vertical asymptote over here. Uh, we do not see that vertical asymptote in this graph. So it will be this function. I'll go ahead and circle that right now, and then we can talk just a little bit more about uh, this function in, in general. We can also look at the, the leading coefficients. If, we were, if I were to rewrite this as 2x plus 4 over negative x plus 2, we could do that there. I would look at the leading coefficients because the... Uh, the degrees on the numerator and the denominator are the same. So if we plugged in very large numbers, if I wanted to think about the, the end behavior that is going to the right forever or going to the left forever, what would happen? Well, if I pl plugged in a huge number here, the 4 and the 2, uh, plus 4 and plus 2 wouldn't really matter. We'd have 2 times huge over negative times huge. So I would just be looking at these leading coefficients or negative uh, I'd have a, a vertical, a horizontal asymptote of negative 2. That is 2 over negative 1. And it does look like it's going to tend that way. All right? Um, I can, I can kind of sketch that in. But this, this on the left side, this is coming down. And, and on the right side, this is going to come on up to, to x equals, or to y equals negative 2. If I did the same thing on g of x, I would get the same, I would actually get the same uh, horizontal asymptote, right? Negative 2x plus 4 over x plus 2. I would get uh, y equals negative 2. I'd get the same horizontal asymptote. But again, back to that, back to that vertical asymptote, that really gave it, gave it away right away. But I just wanted to talk a little bit more about these uh, some some of the um, characteristics of these rational functions. All right, so there you have it, taking a look at matching a function to a to a graph.